wheels. They're so overrated. Sure, all cars have four of them, because if you only had three, then, well, it would, hmm. You know, let's let Adam Yamaguchi explain. We've been driving cars for over 100 years. Advances in design and technology have made them sleeker, faster, and more fuel efficient. But they've always had four wheels to be called a car. Even though this looks like a fancy motorcycle, it is in fact a car with three wheels. It seats two people, gets 84 miles per gallon on the highway, and only costs $6,800. It's called the Elio, and it's the auto innovation of Paul Elio, who dreamed of having his own car company as a kid. I made the trip to Troy, Michigan, outside of Detroit, Motor City, to see how they could possibly build a car today for the same price as a new one in 1979. So this is the prototype shop in Metro Detroit where the first Elios have been made. So tell me a little bit about your background. How did you get to where we are today? Well, I've been an entrepreneur all my life. I mowed 130 lawns a week when I was a kid. Called it Elio and Associates Attorneys at Lawn. <laughs> I had a pizzeria briefly, <laughs> but I, I didn't give up. And then eventually I went back to school for engineering and found my passion. Mm -hmm. It took a while for that passion to turn into a paying job. He did work in the auto industry as a taxi cab driver, and he did become an engineer. But a company he started went out of business in 2008. Paul couldn't pay his bills, and nobody would hire him. I had hundreds of resumes out uh, from high-end jobs that I was qualified for down to baristas at the local coffee shop. I could not get an interview. Those impediments inspired him to take a risk. And with some financial help from a college friend, Paul started Elio Motors to build a compact, fuel-efficient car, perfect for commuters and students, at a price you can afford and still keep that SUV in the driveway. And here it is, the Elio. Wow. Now this looks like it's just been delivered from the future. In configuration it is, but it's all current technology. So the inspiration was, is that highway speeds, most of your fuel goes to move in air. So by sending two people front to back instead of side by side, we double the mileage. So this vehicle gets 84 miles per gallon. Wow. How safe is it going to be to drive this vehicle? It's all automotive technology throughout. The airbags are the same as in a whole bunch of other vehicles. So it's got a front airbag and two side airbags. If you notice, it has a very long nose, and that's for crush zone. We have a very good crush zone to slow the accident down. Paul highlighted some of the innovations that he hopes will make the Ilio an affordable, fuel-efficient car. From a hood design that uses $3 latches versus a standard latch that costs 33 bucks, to a straight edge rear fin that's more aerodynamic than a curved one, to even trimming an inch and a half off the tire width to give you two more miles to the gallon. Are you going to be comfortable back there? Absolutely. Paul easily climbed into the back while I took the pilot seat. You feel that the car is just sort of wrapped around you. Now, how fast will I be able to drive one of these? The 0 to 60 is 9.6 seconds, and the top speed is 107 miles an hour. 107 so, miles an hour? Yes, so you, you can get a healthy ticket in this thing. <laughs> Even though cars won't roll off the production line until next year, you can pre-order one now online. And there's one thing for sure. It's the perfect car for doing donuts.